Well, hello there. Good morning. This is Dr. Rowe with Health Natural Solutions from All Water and Health LLC. And uh, we're trying this Nifty Neato can stacked. Uh, we got dehydrated spinach and uh, old fashioned oats stacked up to make a nice tripod this morning. But I'm going to try something I saw on the uh, internet a few times now in the McDougal High Starch. Um, veggie whole, whole food whole food plant-based diet and it's making pancakes and so what I have here is some uh, old-fashioned oats and they're soaking in just a little bit of pineapple juice just natural 100% pineapple juice and then here we have a ma uh, mashed sweet potato with the skin because that's where all the vitamins hide or a lot of them anyways and a smashed banana and now we're going to stir the two of those together like this. I guess I could have drained some of that pineapple juice out. Makes it a little bit more sloshy. And we're going to see how we can do turning this into a pancake. So give that a nice swirl. Maybe because it is so um, runny. Maybe we better add a little flaxseed meal to it. Get a little bit more spongy texture. So we're gonna use the an eighth of a cup, maybe a little bit more, eighth of a cup. And I've got here the, the Bob's Red Mill. I always keep this in the fridge. Anytime you don't freshly grind your flax seed or chia seeds, you need to keep them in the fridge. So I'm going to stir that in a little bit here, see if that helps absorb some of that moisture, give it a little extra fiber. Flax meal is a, a good colon cleanser. Some people have trouble with it. Myself, I handle chia seeds better than I handle flax seeds. Flax seeds seem to bind me just a little bit too much but uh, we're going to try it today it's been a while so we're going to try it and see how it goes it might be too much information but uh, you can find me on the internet at thebloodlady.com I teach uh, microscopic and live dry dry and live blood um, uh, microscopic blood health I also teach um, um, or do urine health and so you can also find me at uh, the urine lady .com, and you can also find me at the poop lady or your poop lady .com, excuse me your water lady .com, and my water people .com. that's probably the easiest place to find me so I have a little trick let me slide this out of the way so I can move my camera but a lot of times uh, in the programs, I've seen people struggling to not have their food stick to their grills. And I've got here my, my George Foreman, my trusty George Foreman, but it's an old one, very, very, very old. And so it would love to stick without any spray. But since we're not using any oil or sprays, I've just heated it. And then I've taken a piece of parchment paper and I've folded it in half. And this has worked really, really well. If it curls on you, fold it the other direction, like this. Okay. And so then I like to turn it so that the, the fold is towards the outside edge in case anything else is gonna drip. But then I'm gonna drop these neat little pancakes on here. I should be able to get at least four out of it. And maybe if the flax meal set up a little bit longer, it would swell a little bit more, but we're gonna rush this just a little bit for the video. Okay. That made a nice mess of the bowl, but I'm going to just smash these out. I've got four decent sized pancakes here. And then we're just going to fold the parchment paper over and close George's lid. Like that. 
All right, I'll bring you back when it's uh, ready to go. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, but as you can see, the grill still has some steam coming out the back here. If there's still steam coming out, they're still not done. They're going to be too moist, so uh, continue to let them cook until the steam stops. But it's been 10 minutes so far. Okay, let's see. It's been probably about 20 minutes because they were so thin. And here's the parchment paper, and as you peel it back, you're stuck just a little bit. A little bit darker than I'd like, but that's going to be some tasty pancakes right there. Put a little pure maple syrup on there, a little uh, sugar-free if you need to, but I think that's a processed food, so I think it's not on the program. So, all right. Enjoy.